I have a job offer. Yes. Hey guys, I have a good news for you and this is really, really uh, an exciting video that I wanted to do today. I want to share this big blessing that just came about to my life and my husband's um, life recently and it's about my new job. <laughs> So, uh, before I continue, I want to welcome you to my channel. My name is Quintas, and I live here in the UK with my awesome British husband. And so, how are you doing, guys? And um, you know what? I just got my national insurance uh, number, and um, obviously, prior to that, I have been already. Uh, um, you know, uh, after I got my visa, uh, since work is permitted with my visa, I uh, I was thinking of um, what job I wanted to uh, to do, or uh, I wanted to apply for. My experiences are uh, just um, a couple of experience. I worked for like 15 years in the hotel industry. I went in Dubai. In 2000 and 1998, I mean, and then I was working f um, there for several years. Um, but prior to that, I was working in um, in a garment factory for several years. I've been doing production, warehouse, merchandising, and all sorts. And uh, yes, I was also. Prior to coming here in the UK, I was working as a call center agent, actually at a fraud department for a big company, which is dealing with uh, credit cards. So I was uh, doing uh, fraud calls and I was, uh, you know, um, resolving prob problems with cards being blocked because they are uh, used uh, potentially for fraud. So. Anyway, I was uh, looking at the job opportunities that I have here in the UK and I was thinking, am I ready to be back in the hotel or am I ready to, to do another, you know, like a uh, call center career? And something came up <laughs> and really, really this job is um, nothing that I have done before. I have no clue what it's going to look like, but I just go for it and um, I, uh, I, I, I get hired, guys. And yes, I am going to be uh, doing a nanny job in London. Yay! <laughs> So, um, you know, guys, my husband and I, by the way, honey, say hello to my subscribers. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, my, my husband is sitting there because he's been very tired and um, uh, he's doing the filming. But I am going to be a nanny. Um, I'm actually a nanny in London, guys. I passed the interview and I passed the... Um, the background check and all sorts and i'm going to be sharing to you um uh, how i um i did the process what how to become a nanny um in london or anywhere here in the uk i'm going to share that to you in my next video but in this video i just wanted to tell you that i am actually um get um uh, doing a new job right now and why i chose to be a nanny so um the reason why i wanted to be a nanny is because number one the salary of a nanny in london is very very competitive guys it's nothing compared to the nannies, nanny jobs we have in the Philippines. So in my next uh, coming video, I'm going to tell you um, how much are the salaries of nannies in London. And um, if you have the opportunity to, to, um, to do this job, and if you were able to do this job, it's, I'm going to also be sharing to you the tips um, 
uh, during interviews and also uh, the expectations so what they are looking for so please um, do watch out for this upcoming videos that I'm gonna upload really soon because I don't want to do everything in one uh, recording because I don't want it to be too long but in this video I just wanted to share with you that this is kind of a big um, decision that I made because number one I don't have a nanny experience never uh, took care of a child ever in my life I never had a child myself <laughs> so um, you know for parents to take a nanny without experience is really a big risk but how did I pass the interview I'm gonna share it to you um, uh, um, in my next videos because you have to be you have to be able to answer questions um, of parents and you have to convince them that you are actually um, able to do and uh, able to um, satisfy the requirements that they are looking for remember this are their most precious you are, they are going to be entrusting the most precious people in their lives which are their kids so yeah um now guys uh, my husband is out of work because he's just had his operations if you can see in the picture he's got his hands uh, he's been operated for carpal tunnel syndrome which um, is some kind of a, um, something wrong is happening there is a vein or a nerve that is so tight that is causing him to um, to have pains and pins and needles so this is this was uh, going on for so long so we had his uh, right hand first and then his right uh, left hand is gonna be next so he's out of work meaning to say that he doesn't have any income at the moment so a blessing in this guys that i have my um my visa and my uh my national insurance and i have my job and i'm i'm actually really excited because it's a very challenging job at the same time but it's uh, it's also a, a job that um i think i'm gonna be i'm gonna be really good at I, I told the parents that um, because you see I don't have any uh, other jobs that I did in London before so um, how I managed to um, to 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 um, convince them I had a best friend which um, is my best friend since I came here in 2006 so um, she's one of the parents of the young people that I was um, teaching in the youth ministry that um, that I came here for and so what happened is I asked her if she could be my reference because I cannot do my husband as my reference I cannot I cannot use my grand my parents-in-law or my sister-in-law as my reference so I have to have someone else so I I did have this person and then they called this person and my best friend uh, she talked about me how I am as a person what are my values and uh, whatnot that is really important and then um on top of that i had uh, an interview over the phone and then uh, on the interview over the phone i think she was pretty um impressed and satisfied with how i answered all her questions and um and then i was invited for a trial <laughs> This trial, guys, you wouldn't believe I mess up because <laughs> uh, so I had to stay for a week um, for uh, for a week uh, on a weekend and then for the uh, f f for uh, on a weekend with the kids. This family has two kids, and then uh, I had to do the 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 bit where I have to do the the uh, taking the kid to the school and pick up and drop that is not so bad uh you know 
I'm living in the countryside, but I've been in London a couple of times, so I pretty much know how 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 to ride the buses and how, you know how to use the directions in the bus stops. So that's easy for me. But um, the main thing is, you know, like um, cooking, cleaning. That is not not so bad for me. I'm so good at that. But uh, you know, f f um, looking after uh, a child. And what happened was, this is so funny, and please don't judge me. This is my first experience having the kid to have her poo. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is really a massive, massive fail for me. And I was under trial. Anyway, so um, never, never changed enough in my entire life. And the babe and the, <laughs> sorry for the word. And and the girl who is uh, about I think thirteen months old had had a had a massive explosion. <laughs> and what what happens next is everything is in my clothes. Everything is all over the floor. I didn't know what to do because I just pull it down. I didn't know. <laughs> And I can have a tissue. I'm having teary eyes because I'm laughing. So <laughs> you could imagine the horror that I experienced, guys. And for the first time, I'm so embarrassed that I didn't know what to do. However, I managed to clean everything. I managed to clean everything, but change my clothes and everything. And then, so. I told I asked I, I asked them I asked the the mom can you please show me how to do this I uh, you know you only need to show me one time and I can do it uh, again perfectly so yes I I asked her to show it to me and then I did it again and I was perfect about it now um, the the trial with the taking in the school and that's past but um what happened was so i didn't know i didn't know i actually didn't know then she uh i think it was uh, on a wednesday evening of that week that i was there and she told me that um how long are you uh are you willing to to do this job for i said um i i really don't know um what i know is i wanted to do the work and uh, when i do the work i put my you know like i put my uh, my whole life into it and i don't want to to jump into doing several works because of uh, uh, I am not someone who changed mind easily so I wanted to do something and learn something from this and there are questions that was thrown into me that I think were a big deal to these people and I'm gonna and I'm gonna discuss this to you if you wanted to be a nanny in London or a nanny anywhere if you're uh, anywhere in the world I wanted to share all these questions to you and how you would answer them so that these people will have their confidence that they that you're gonna be a good candidate anyway so to cut this uh, story short guys i got the job i had a trial and the mom said my kids uh, i asked i asked my kids if they like you if you are a thumbs up and then um uh, apparently when 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 they were talking to the kids the kids says two thumbs up for me <laughs> so uh, well done kiddos <laughs> they were the ones who said i want her i want her so they want me and yes guys i am already doing this work now so um i i go there four days a week in london and then on a weekend i'm here with my husband so um so yes it's it's a really fantastic um time now um i'm able to help my husband uh, financially with all the expenses that we've had so i'll i'll be um i'm excited to share to you the other um the other videos that i'm, I'm i'll be filming and i hope that you do watch uh watch out for this i'll be discussing for my next video um uh how much is the salary of the uh, nannies in london and tips on how to become a great nanny and how to apply in how to apply i'm gonna tell you what sorts of requirements and i'm what sorts of um, of interview process um uh, uh, is um, 
you know like actually happening if you apply for a nanny in london and it's a very very rewarding job and i'm i'm really enjoying it i it feels like i have my own kids the parents were uh, of the kids that i'm working for they are younger than me they are doctors and they are really um they are really fantastic couple and i am like their uh, older sister so i'm not i'm not uh, treated like a nanny i'm treated like a member of the family um you know as early as now i'm really enjoying it and uh, yes uh, it's it's uh, it's a fantastic news that i wanted to share with you guys although my husband has had his operation and is not able to work but god is great because um i got this job um just on the right time so what do you think guys are you happy for me do you think i made a decision um uh right i didn't do the hotel work because i'm not sure if i'm ready with the politics i'm not sure if i'm ready with um the competition but i might um in the next future who knows um but i'll see what what will happen here and i'll i'll, I'll get you updated so give me a thumbs up give me a comment down below and let me know uh, if you're interested and if you wanted to be a nanny in london how can how can i be of help and um what else um please also don't forget to click the bell guys it's important the bell is important so that you're aware of my uh, upcoming videos every time they're they're uploaded all right so i'm gonna say bye bye and i love you take care